story later when we meet again farewell backup plan later. didn't expect us to find each other here. This is the deepest part of the Tethys system. Our shore. Just for us. Hmm. I like this starry sky. So much. Long ago, you likened Solaris's collected data to stars. The stars of humanity itself. Whenever I gaze at this sky, there is always one bright, roving star. Just seeing this star is enough to calm any restless thoughts. It brings me peace. And now, this star is here, right before me. I used to think my duty was to guard the Black Shores obeying the Tethys system's every command. But you showed me another way. You've shared so much with me about the world beyond, about yourself, about the past, present, and future. I remember the field of flowers we once saw in Rinesita. How beautiful those daisies and violets were. Being with you always makes me feel something. Something I couldn't quite understand at the time. Come to think of it now, it must be... happiness. You made me realize that protecting the Black Shores isn't my only duty. Because there is more to life than duty. You should go now. Continue your journey in Solaris and live a life of your own choosing. Have 
you forgotten? I am the Sonoro's creation. The Sonoro will never fade away, and I will continue to serve. We shall meet again, somewhere in the future. The Tethys system needs a core unit capable of feeling emotions to function. If the Lament's data ceases to be the core, someone must fill that void. Neither you nor the victims in Guishu deserve such burden. My journey ends here, but yours must continue. No one will ever be harmed again. Just as I promised. I'm truly sorry. This is the only way to keep everyone safe. I alone shall bear this price. I'm grateful to have you here on this shore. I couldn't ask for more. No matter where you go, even to the ends of the earth, the Black Shores will always be your harbor. No matter how far you go, I will always be here, watching over you. Could this feeling be... love? Goodbye. The corrupted data is contained. The Necrostar's event horizon is stable and the data hub is back online. We did it. The Tethys system is back online. The rover, you did it. Wait, where's the shorekeeper? Wasn't she with you? What? But she has admin access to the Tethys system. How could she just disappear like that? No, that can't be right. What do you mean? You mean... Oh, I get it. This is unprecedented. We've never considered observing a Necrostar before. But I remember reading about similar theories in ancient texts. It might just work. Attention all units! Our observation target is now the Necrostar. Deploy all available equipment. Understood. It'll take some time. We must save the Shorekeeper at all costs. The Black Shores can't afford to lose her. Mom, we've pinpointed the Shorekeeper's location in Tethys. And not just her. We've identified the relative positions of everyone captured by the black hole beyond the event horizon. To rescue them from the Necrostar, we'll have to redesign it using the principles of the new world. In other words... But the Tethys system's programming is impeccable, almost otherworldly. Is it really possible to do that? Besides, we still need a decoy with the highest level access to divert its computational power so we can find the Shorekeeper. No. It's too risky. We can't be sure if the rescue will succeed, and we can't afford to lose another member. And there isn't anyone with higher access than the Shorekeeper.
What? How do you have top security clearance? She gave you her access? Are you somebody important that we should know about? Ah, <sighs> wait. That ancient prophecy. In times of great adversity, the shorekeeper will reveal herself and support our true leader, who at the destined moment will rise to save and guide the Black Shores forward. You... You are the... It's not important. Our focus now is the Tethys system. Members of the Black Shores have followed Tethys's calculations and commands. Even the Shorekeeper herself is used as a pawn. But humans shouldn't be treated as mere tools. History teaches us this, and we should never forget it. No system is flawless, just as no human is perfect. That's why we have the right to question Tethys's decisions. In Jinjo, I learned an old saying. We can't change the past, but we can shape the future. That's what we need to do now. Learn from our mistakes and build a better future. The Black Shores exist for one reason. To protect everyone on this planet. Because people are the heart of civilization. We can fix broken systems. But without people, civilization has no soul. Sorry to jump in. But I couldn't help overhearing what you've been saying. Consultant Alto? Do what you have to do. Leave the ground area to us. You've heard what he said. Attention all units. Readiness level one enabled. Switch the Tethys system to full recursive search mode. Prepare to open the transmission passage. Rover, we're counting on you to save the Shorekeeper and the Black Shores. What we're doing now is essentially breaking into the Tethys system. Plus, the transmission coordinates aren't certain. If you're ready, we can start the transmission now. Please get back to us safely. Welcome, Chief Steward. This is the Tethys system's data cache, used only for temporary storage. Access here should be restricted. This system deduces that the Shorekeeper assigned admin access to you. Admin access nullified. Request denied. The Shorekeeper is now the core computational unit. Forceful discharge of the core unit will result in system crash. Objection. All sacrifices are necessary. The purpose of human civilization is to survive. Over the past 10,000 years, a total of five global occurrences and over 300,000 regional occurrences of the Lament have been observed. Thanks to this system's calculations and the Sentinel's data, we have averted all potential threats to human civilization on Solaris. Individual sacrifices are inconsequential in the broader context of the common good. Additionally, the Shorekeeper is composed of the Sonoro and is not human. Emotions are unnecessary for survival. Error. Unable to process. Repeat. Forceful discharge of the core unit will result in system crash. 
A world without this system is doomed to perish in the lament. Correction. This system is designed to preserve human civilization. Every command is infallible. Error. Unable to process. Last warning. Forceful discharge of the core unit will activate the defense program. Consequences will be severe. ahead is frozen in cold silence. Be careful. Please, leave here. Use the grapple to leave. The earth rent asunder. The world reduced to ashes. Target confirmed. Chief Steward. Please go. Don't look back. Must protect you. But you must keep going. The system must continue to function. Calling my last scenario. Tartar confirmed. confirmed. Chief Steward. Chief Steward. Successful. This system must continue to function. Reinitiating command. Implementing third contingency protocol. Execute formatting. Target. Shorekeeper. Format. 37%. Formatted. 85%. Formatted. 
the storekeeper will be the new computational host. Only this ensures system continuity. It is the only way to defeat the Lament. You'd better... Let her go! I will not leave anyone behind! See? Just let it flow out of you. Like this. You can do it too. Come, give it a try. No, you shouldn't be here. If you get integrated into Tethys, you won't be yourself anymore. That won't be a problem. Tethys and the Black Shores will find another way. Someone kept this from me, didn't they? <laughs> That sounds familiar. I feel like I heard it before. A long time ago, you taught me how to play it. I see. But I... I have no memory of it. I'll teach you. Just like you did for me before. From the distant past to the far future, everything begins and ends here. When you established the Black Shores to unite Solaris, the Tether system already existed. Later, you discovered it relied on emotions from the Lament to fuel its calculations. Without them, it cannot function. Using the lament against itself is like walking on a Mobius loop with no end in sight. We have tried for millennia to break this cycle without success. And then, you left the Black Shores to look for other solutions. But deep down, you already knew the best solution. It was one you couldn't accept. That solution is me, the tool always meant to become Tethys's core. If I don't do this, you, as the modulator of this system, will be chosen as the core. I must fulfill my duty to protect you. But I want to be by your side, to see the skies you've seen to tread the paths you've walked. I want to understand what happiness 
really means. When I first discovered these emotions, I didn't know what to do. So I lied to you, thinking it was the best choice for both of us. I... I'm sorry. Sorry for putting you in harm's way. Yes, thank you, my star. About that frequency dwelling within you. Yes. It seems to be hungering for something. Have you ever felt anything unusual? My Sonoro can sense even the most minor changes in frequencies. So I can tell that there's something strange about that frequency. I'll search for more information in the Tethys system and share what I find with you. After being fixed, it's executing the master command given at its creation. The core computational unit has now been replaced by a special frequency that shares similar properties as the Lament. But this one is... more harmonious and mild. No. Although I must stay here and watch over the Black Shores, I'm now able to bathe in the sunshine and feel the sea breeze with you. It feels delightful. I know you have your own journey to finish. You can entrust the Black Shores to me, and I'll carry out my duty, as always. You have the full support of the Black Shores, no matter where you are, or how far you go. And, despite all the many names you bear, I see you for who you truly are. Wherever your path leads, I hope to walk it with you. <laughs>